Welcome to the Ohio Professional Registry Training Organization Dashboard Tutorial. OCRA has recently made some enhancements to the Training Organization Dashboard and the PD Event Application System. This tutorial will show you what you can expect to see when you log in. Those of you who are already familiar with the system will notice the changes right away. For those of you that are new, welcome and let's get started. To access the training organizations, once you've logged into your profile, go to your name in the upper right corner, click the white arrow, and choose Training Organization Dashboard. Next, you will see a list of all training organizations associated with your OPEN. To open the dashboard, click View Dashboard. At the top of this page, you will see the training organization name along with the OIN or unique identifying number for that training organization. To the right, you will see a green Select Training Organization button. You can choose this button to go back to the main training organization list. You will also see a blue user guide link. You can click this link to open the training organization dashboard user guide for more details on navigating and managing the dashboard. The tabs you see along here in the blue bar are all functions within the dashboard. The first function, or the first tab, which is dashboard, acts as the home page. Here you will see a list of instructors who wish to become affiliated with your training organization, requests from other training organizations for access to your PD events for scheduling, and a list of scheduled PD events. The Events tab holds information for all PD events associated with your training organization. For each event, the display shows the AT number or the ID number for that event, the title, the status, the number of contact hours, the format, the type of event, author, and the approvals the event holds. You can click the arrows at the top of each column to change the order of the display, or you can do a search using the filter fields here along the top, just underneath the column. So you could type something in the fields to do a more specific search. To see more information about each event, click the triangle icon to the left and you will see additional action buttons. The action buttons you see depend on the status of the event. For example, this event is already approved, so you can click the View button to see information about the PD event, click Manage Instructors to add or remove instructors that are approved to instruct that event, and click the Schedule Sessions button to actually schedule the event. So we're going to close this one by clicking the triangle icon again, and then we'll open one that is in Draft Status, and you see the action buttons are different. Here we can edit the event, or we can delete it. Only those in draft status can be deleted. So we're going to close this one. The next button you see up here in the right is the green Create Event button. Clicking this will open a new PD event application that you submit for review for Ohio approval and non-Ohio approval. This process is covered in the Create PD Event Tutorial and User Guide. In the second row of blue tabs, is the Scheduled Events tab. Clicking this tab takes you to the list of all PD events that have been scheduled for this training organization. You can search for events by status, by entering the event's ID number, which is also called the ST number. You can enter in the event title, or you can just click the green Locate Event button and all of the events will appear on the screen. From here, you can view and edit details for future events and manage registrations and attendance. The Admins tab lists all training organization administrators. The admins can add and remove user access to the dashboard. Administrators can be added and removed from this page as well by clicking the green Add Admin button or choosing the Action button and then clicking on Remove. The Instructors tab lists all Ohio approved instructors associated with your training organization. This is for display only and does not grant access to the dashboard or display what PD events they are eligible to instruct. 
Instructors can also be added or removed from this page. The next tab is for reports. From here, you can create a variety of training reports, such as all offerings for a particular event during a specific time period, or the number of participants in a certain county for a specific PD event. The last tab is training requests. Other training organizations can request access to your PD events for the purpose of scheduling and managing attendance. This tab is where requests are made, clicking the outgoing training request button, and training org administrators can see incoming requests by clicking this button here on the left. There should always be a discussion between the two agencies before making the request. To leave the dashboard, simply make another choice from your profile menu by clicking the drop down button or closing the tab across the top. To use the functions of the dashboard, users must be granted access. The training org administrator can grant access to the dashboard. For more information on this process, see the training org user guide by clicking the user guide link here on the dashboard homepage. Check the resources page on the website to view tutorials on creating a PD event application and scheduling and managing PD events.